Hi, I'm Lanier Richardson, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about, like it or not, you need to be the CEO. When you start your business, you don't exactly know the fullness of what your role is going to be. You say you're going to be a founder, an entrepreneur, a business owner, right? But what does that actually mean? Like it or not, you need to be the CEO. I mean, when you start your own company, it's pretty exciting. You are bringing your idea to life. You may feel the energy of starting your company. You believe that you are going to change the world. Even if, even if it's a little scary, you still have the big dream. You get the business card that says president and CEO and founder. And someday, you will have the big corner office. You will create wealth and jobs and contribute to your community. You get to write off your expenses and set your own hours, and you are free from working for the man. But we all, as entrepreneurs, know that it's not just that simple. In fact, I see that urban entrepreneurs don't think a lot about running and the routine of running the company. We think more about the passion, our big vision, our skill, our experience. So you think first, I'm a technologist, I'm a graphic designer, I'm a cook or a doctor or a fashion executive or a fitness professional. In either of these cases, you are thinking first about your craft and using your expertise. You think about the problems you will solve and what you can do to bring value to your customer and your community. You just want to roll out the next innovative product and service and start making money, right? Well, here's the point. You rarely think about the monotony of actually running a company. So one of the things that we have to realize as entrepreneurs is that, like it or not, we actually need to be a CEO. Even if you've never run a company before, and even if you're exceptional at your craft, for your business to be successful, you have to be a CEO. So you really have to keep business operations uh, in your mind, whether you want to do it or not. Even if it's just you want to be a great chef, you, want, you have a great restaurant, you still are the CEO and everyone will perceive you that way. Every vendor, every potential employee, every investor. So you have to have that mentality that just because I want to bring my passion and skill to life, I must also recognize that I'm running a business and I need to be profitable. And if it seems that your company operations are not tight, that there really is no CEO thinking about strategic elements of the business, people will perceive your company in a negative way. Being a CEO is not a skill that you can learn overnight, but what I am suggesting to you is this. It's a discipline that must be honed. Like it or not, whether you went into business to be a leader or not, you have to develop your perspective as an owner and as CEO of the organization. So in this module, we're gonna tell you more about what it means to be a CEO. You're not just an urban entrepreneur, you are a CEO, even if just having that perspective, that's gonna take you a long way, is gonna improve the prob probability of success in your business.